All right, so welcome to Will It M1. So today we're playing uh, Star Wars Galaxies, and we're using Crossover 21. Um, this is uh, this is way better than what it used to be. I mean, it, you, when I when I played this before, there were texture problems. There were all kinds of issues with it doesn't seem like there's a lot of the performance issues that were here however I do want to draw your attention to this uh, right now I have a fairly decent ping at 166 which isn't great but it's not horrible I have 0% packet loss my bandwidth in and out is uh, not exactly high but my FPS is 8 uh, I'm running at a really really low screen rate as well this should be way higher it's not. Um, now, I have this installed with the default pretty much application setup. Uh, I've installed DirectX for modern games. I've installed the Vulkan plugin to try and make it better. <clears throat> and I probably only gained about two FPS on that. It came up from six. Now, the game isn't really lagging. Per se, I'm not getting any drag when I come across, but there's nobody in this area. It's really unpopulated. So let's move somewhere a little more populated so we can see that turning when running is a little bit glitchy. But uh, As you can see, it's, uh, it's a little clunky, getting a little kickback there. Hold on, I think my game sound is overpowering me. Let's turn this down just a tad, because I can't even hear myself talk. Uh, I've got background music and player music turned off because, well... I don't want to mess with Disney and their copyright violation police. So that's turned off. Uh, the music does play. Everything does play. As we're getting closer to where there are player models, I can tell the game is starting to slow down. As you can see, we've dropped down to two FPS, which is not exactly great. Four, and this is going to be probably one of the more crowded areas. And yeah, two FPS. We'll walk in here and we'll purvey the floor. There's a lot of AFK people doing a lot of actions here. So uh, we are three, four FPS. And as I spin, we're not getting a lot of camera lag. But it's not great. I mean, given this game has a pretty firm PvP component, if you're into that, coming in here would probably be a death sentence. Running it this way. Now, I'm not saying that this can't be tuned to run better. And it is functional. It, it does work. But... Um, Let's try to travel to a different planet. Maybe maybe this just isn't our planet. And uh, I haven't tried to go anywhere else, so I'm not sure if, uh, if that's going to be a problem or it's going to help or what. But as we get further away, let's see if our frame rate goes up. rubber banding quite a bit and this is on uh, crossover 21 which at this time is the latest version as we leave we get more frame rate um, let's do this let's go <clears throat> I still haven't got my voice back entirely I'm sorry let's 
go to Corellia and we'll go to Coronet. Let's make sure I got money. All right, I only got 300K left in the bank. That's not great, but it's not horrible. Should be enough to get us where we want to go. We're pushing eight FPS. Now this is an old game, so. I mean, I could probably scale some of the character models back and get some more performance back from it, <clears throat> but uh, it should not be this bad. Now, Corellia is kind of weird usually because there's areas where there's people and there's areas where there's not. So we may have spikes of FPS loss and we may have uh, good areas that where we get closer to 10 FPS. But 10 FPS is, is not ideal. I mean, I'll admit the game originally probably only capped out at 30 FPS and there's mods to take it up to 60, but we're not, we're not getting anywhere near there. And I just think that Crossover can't allocate the resources that this game is asking for. I had a very difficult time actually finding software that would record this game. Uh, it just did not want to recognize it as a valid window. It's that old, which is understandable because it is an old game. But uh, oh, now we got 13 FPS. So traveling to a different planet did improve our FPS a bit. So Tatooine, probably just swamped. Uh, I wanted to play this on one of the uh, the newer modified servers, but I didn't think that would give it a fair test because uh, it just struck me that there may be situations on some of those other servers that don't go very well, don't mesh well with the game. Uh, I know... Some of them uh, tend to crash from time to time. And it'd be difficult to tell whether it's crashing because of the uh, the emulator or it's crashing because of the M1 or it's crashing because of the, the uh, well, the, their emulator, not my emulator. So I'm emulating a game that's emulated on another server. Just adds too many layers of complexity. So I just went with Basilisk because it's it's probably the most safe option out of all of them still getting a lot of rubber banding now the uh, cantina in coronet is not as crowded but it still should be populated and we're gonna go get buffed up and then we're gonna go to a planet that really nobody goes to and see Is there anybody here? Small group of people. Okay, do I have any spice? I got brandy, we'll be fine. All right. Have my armor. Um, <clears throat> just got a bunch of pikes. Okay. Uh, this character is Master Doctor, Master Pikeman. So okay. Let's see. Yeah, oh, there we go. I got armor. Okay, I'm good. We're gonna need it where we're going. Let's go to the hospital. And see, I'm still getting those spikes. It's really weird. It's 7 FPS, 3 FPS. It's just... I don't know that it makes the game very playable. Which is fine. I mean... There's worse places. Let's 
just sometimes coming around a corner, I need to get my bearings because I don't want to spin out and end up somewhere else. And uh, it's just one of those things where it's like three FPS is, is, is not not a happy experience. Even 10 FPS is not, not pleasant. All right, med center. The reason I picked this character is because uh, I don't have to wait for a doctor to be around. I can just... Uh, All right, let's get It's not keeping the names of things on them. Hmm, that's weird. All right, so we got some graphical gl glitches. All right, so we're going to eat this. Drink that. Drink that. There goes our mind. All right. Action. Constitution. Health. Oh, wait. I'm doing it too quick. Okay, quickness. This is really off-putting not having the screens up. I mean, when I leave the highlighted uh, icon in my inventory, it loses the the name rather quickly I think that's an option I have turned off I think I was trying to turn it off for uh, performance reasons all right so let's equip 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 uh, I think that's all the armor I got which Should be enough. It's not perfect, but we're not going anywhere too tough. We're just going in somewhere out of the way where there's usually not a lot of people. If there's this much lag on that planet then there's there's no no hope yeah i need to go this way three fps so it's easy to get lost And, and on the plus side of this, with this experiment, this isn't our only option. So this this isn't the only way to run this. And we'll see if there's a better way. But I, I did play around with it a bit and uh, admittedly did not spend hours and hours and hours trying to get it to work at best performance. But I tried to get a reasonable amount of performance out of it as quickly as possible. And uh, uh, go to the mining outpost on Yavin 4. And there's probably going to be not going to be anybody on this planet. Which is fine. I mean, 
Now we're up to 14 FPS. And you can see when it, the FPS gets up there, it, it is smooth. So if there's something that could maintain the FPS and not keep dropping it, it's definitely worth it. Okay, and again, the maps load fairly quickly. That's not a problem. It's just the resolutions of everything coming in. And when I looked at Task Manager, it was kind of spiked high. As you can see, Brawler. Master Doctor, Master Pikeman. Uh, I haven't played this in a while. That's what I want. Okay. So, combat. We will take Alarm Area Attack 2. Put it on F2. All right, that's, that's pretty much all we need. All right, so we're just gonna run out and watch the game quit. Okay, well, that's not positive. All right, so our game just dumped. Oh, uh, the bad exit code. All right, so I'm going to call that a test for crossover. It was uh, slightly unstable. It was slow, uh, low frame rate. Uh, then again, it's an old, old game. It's not anything against crossover. It is just an old game uh, that has always had some sort of problem on crossover running. Uh, I am going to go ahead and end this and uh actually I have some time so i'm probably going to record the next video right after this one where i do this in parallels and we see if it's any different but uh look for that tomorrow and hopefully it'll be better i'll see you then thanks for watching